Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them a line in comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people are not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so, because if you don't, you lose. Now is a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make Shopify store very unique, professional, without having to rely on those expensive teams or paying those expensive de developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money in this not very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you be decide, now I respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill again another request, which is how to add the shadow effect to product cards on collection page on Shopify horizon team because I already made this video for down team and the others but now the new team released so many people are requesting this for it and here is I'm making the video guys for it and we are using your own custom code again and completely free so I would appreciate if you hit that like button it will motivate me to share more free things for you and without any more talking let's just jump to it as you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. And each video I add small customizations, but the video like 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. But now I think I reached that level halfway. For example, check out this all in one reviews carousel with tabs, as you can see, and filterable with many uh, sources. Or check out this recent sales, as you can see, recent sales notification on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. And it's highly customizable or even better. You want to see something that will make you more money or save you more money? Check this out. So this is the muscles, right? I would act just like when you leave or close the page and this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out. And this is by using the exit intent trigger. It detects when the user trying to leave, then it did show up. And yes, by using your own custom code and many, many things I cannot even mention in one video will be one hour long, as you can see. But as I said, in this video, I will show you how to add the uh, shadow effect to the product cards on Horizon. So let's just close this and navigate to Horizon. So let's just close this. And now let's just check out Horizon team, which is the collection or the product cards. Let's just switch to collection. I think I have one here. Yeah, I do. So let's just switch to this one. As you can see, there is no shadow effect. They are interactive, as you can see, it's interactive, but they don't have the shadow effect which is a bummer. Now we will add shadow effect and once they interact, it will look way, way better. And you will see that in a couple of seconds. So let's just uh, keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So the first thing you're going to do is get back to Shopify dashboard. If you're already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will open up the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the folders and files like this, you might get dizzy. Use the search bar at the top left corner, then type in base, and you will see this file right here, base.css. Click on it. A lot of code will show up in here. It's a huge file. Simply drag this one right here to the bottom of the page. And here we go. And in here, we need to create some space to paste in our code. And as you can see, there is no space. So simply click front of the last thing, in my case, it's closing bracket, then hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. We have a completely new space to paste in our code. Or when you get that code, you need to hire a developer, pay him with 24. I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link on my website, completely free again. Simply click on it and it will open up this website right here and scroll a little bit down and you will see this code and simply copy it using this button right here, then get back in here and paste it in the space that we did create. And later I will show you how to adjust in case you want to decrease and in or increase the, uh, the intensity of the shadow effect. Because yes, you can do that. So let's just click on save button first and check it out how it looks like. Now we'll just get back to the collection page in here and reload the page and see what that will do. So let's just reload the page. And now once I hover over it, check it out. As you can see, the whole card gets lifted, as you can see, and it looks way, way better because as I said, it's already interactive, but it doesn't get lifted like this and it shows a shadow effect below it, as you can see, once it gets lifted. And how to adjust the shadow effect? That's very easy. I just get back to my website. It's better for visibility because it's black background. And in here, 
this is by default the shadow background the intensity for it however if you want to adjust this to increase or decrease the intensity i added some comments where i explained which each one what it does so this one eight pixels as you can see this is the distance below the card increase for more separation that's very clear right the next one is 25 pixels 25 pixels is the blue radius increase for softer shadow that's very clear right and the next one is 0 0.15 which is this one right here it's for the opac opacity sorry and you can increase if you decrease this it will be lighter if you decrease it it will have a darker shadow so you can adjust these values and that will adjust the effect the shadow effect according to your style or design and that's how you add the shadow effect on your Shopify store just like you saw in the video and it looks way way better now and if you have any video requests make sure to drop them below but for now I think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one